Hey, good evening. Thanks a lot for being with us. Our top story, your tax dollars going to storage for the homeless. K2 wants to know, do people think this is a good use or the best use of taxpayer money? The storage facility is at the gates of Chinatown, fourth in Burnside in a city-owned vacant building. K2's Margie Lynch joins us live with the story. And Margie, the question now, would the money be better spent getting people off the streets? And that's exactly what we asked Commissioner Nick Fish today. And he tells us the city already spends millions of dollars to house and shelter the homeless here in Portland. He says this complements those programs and should help the homeless find jobs. We got, we got a bag here, a bag there, and a big one down here. Fred is loaded down. Right at 100 pounds, I bet. On his back, he carries his life's possession. It's physically very exhausting. It's long been a problem in the city of Portland. The homeless's bags and shopping carts blocking the sidewalk. People got to push it around, like for instance, that cart on the corner right there. It's going to be stolen at any time. But that's somebody's livelihood. It's gone. So Commissioner Nick Fish decided to grant the wish of advocates and downtown businesses, opening a storage facility at the gates of Chinatown where homeless people can keep their stuff for the day. This has been on their wish list for a long time. I guess I'm Santa Claus. But in this case, Santa Claus is using your money to deliver. Nick Fish calls the $30,000 for the program a drop in the bucket and money that will change Portland's image. Criticisms we often get are people who are walking down the street and see someone who's homeless with all their belongings. Think of that. Um, they wonder what kind of city would allow someone to sleep on the streets with all their belongings. And by the way, those belongings are often blocking the sidewalk. Portland Business Alliance backs the plan, but other businesses close to the facility don't like it. I told him I thought it was a bad idea too. Critics say the city should spend the money to end homelessness, not encourage it. In times like this, $30,000, could that be better spent for jobs for the homeless? No, we spend millions of dollars uh, in shelter services, transitional housing, permanent housing. Fish says this complements those programs and will help the homeless find success. And that program that will be run out of this vacant building here will only be by day. The homeless will have to pick up their belongings for nighttime. And we asked also about what about illegal property. Some people say, you know, a lot of times homeless people and others will carry things in their bags. And among them that it's not legal, what will the city do with all of that? And what will the city do if they forget to come and bring their stuff? Right now, the city is uh, working through all that. Back to you. Well, so, Margie, what about the shopping carts? We see a lot of the homeless people use to carry their stuff. Ultimately, that's stolen property. So what will the city do about that? We, we talked to the city about that today as well with the shopping carts. And the city says if those shopping carts are marked Safeway or Fred Meyer, they will not allow them inside the building. But if they're unmarked, they will allow the shopping carts. And they tell us a lot of homeless actually just have bags and don't have shopping carts at all. All right. Margie Lynch, thank you.